Now, first I wanna start off with the aesthetics and the design of this board. Now, it's very, very bold and a little bit unusual in my personal opinion, but if I don't like the particular design, that doesn't devalue anyone else's opinion. Now, there's a lot of this bold neon green everywhere. It's on the bushings, the wheels, the truck base plates. They even put neon green trimming on the ESC and the battery, along with neon green lettering on the battery enclosure. There's also neon green lighting with the charging port. So once you plug in the charger, the lighting will start fluctuating more and more the more the battery charges. By the way, this is a four and a half amp charger and it only takes about two hours to charge the board. Also, when the board is on, that little power indicator lights up green as well. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of green accents on this board. So if you like a lot of that bold style design, then this board might be for you. For me personally, I like more of a subtle kind of vibe. The most I'll do is change up wheel colors, maybe the hub colors, maybe bushings. That's really about it. When it comes to that bold design, that's not really my cup of tea, but just because I don't like it, that doesn't devalue your opinion. So if you like something that's a little bit more bold and out there, this could be a good choice for you. But not for nothing, this did start growing on me, so I don't think it's ugly per se. I honestly think if I lived in Hawaii, I would actually really love this design. So now let's talk about the deck. The deck is made up of two ply bamboo and two ply fiberglass. The length is 38.6 inches long and about 10 inches in width. And the max load for this board is 330 pounds. Now, along with this perfect amount of flex, it does have a good subtle concave. It's not too much and it hurts your feet, but it has plenty enough to actually keep you in tune with the board underneath your feet. So when you're carving, you know where your feet sit without actually looking down. Now for these wheels. Now I've been saying it for a long time, these China based 90 millimeter wheels are very good, but I feel like they're getting better and better. They feel even more comfortable and grippier than they used to be like on the Wagos and the other budget boards. Check it out. Next, I wanted to talk about the reverse kingpin trucks. Now, these particular reverse kingpin trucks are eight inches in width, 50 degree to angle. Now, I don't know if the Voyager X have the same exact trucks, but I do like the carve and the feel of this better. The bushings that it comes with out of the box are 96A, and they also give you 100A bushings in case you want a stiffer ride. The motors are 2,519 watts each, and the rear truck also utilizes the 96A bushings. Now, let's see how this truck system with the 96A bushings, along with these grippy wheels, perform with aggressive carving. Check it out.
acceleration test. One, two, three, go. Not what I expected for its price point. Good acceleration. Doesn't lag, doesn't twitch. All right, let's do a brake test at 15 miles per hour. One, two, three, brake. Good, good. Okay, here we go. Giant hill test. Meepo NLS. Took me about two and a half miles to get here. Still full bars. Speed mode four. Usually boards around this price range do like 18 to 21 miles per hour. So I think anywhere in that low 20s is gonna be good. Let's check it out. Yep. All right, let's check the rider app. 23.3 miles per hour up the hill. Bravo, Meepo. Bravo. Now let's talk about the remote. Meepo is utilizing the N5S Hobbywing remote along with a reflective lanyard. Now I know it sounds silly, but the lanyard is actually really cool. It's reflective at nighttime. And when I'm looking at my pile of remotes and I gotta find which remote is which, this stands out like a sore thumb because of this light green reflective lanyard. Now let's talk about the battery. This battery is a 12S 2P Molasell P42A 362 watt hour battery. I'm a 155 pound rider and I was riding mostly in speed mode four and I got 21 miles of range with the board. Final thoughts. Now you guys remember about a year ago, I did the Meepo Voyager X review and I just had tons of fun riding this board because it took such a beating on terrible, terrible roads. This was actually even better than that. I think because Meepo really went after more range and more top speed and more performance with the Voyager X, when it comes to the NVNLS, it's not as chunky and as big and the deck has more comfort and flex in the Envy. So when you have more flex, you have more rebound, you have more comfort so you can really appreciate that street quality feel board. The Voyager was really outperforming pretty much everything in its class at that time. So it felt a little bit more stiff and more higher up off the ground. This one feels like a proper street board. I am not kidding when I say this, this is now my favorite street board. It used to be the OG Backfire Zealot. And now this is like the Zealot, just two notches up. It's got more power. It's got a little bit more range. It's got a little bit more comfort. It's got a little more features. And I just absolutely love it. Like you see in the footage, I'm surfing often on the sidewalks, the streets, everywhere I possibly can. This will take the bad roads. This will take all the cracks and it will just be simply a proper street board that you will have tons and tons of fun with. It's only 21 pounds. It takes about two hours to charge. So it's a great commuter and it will last because I really, really beat this board up and I put it to the test. Now, in my personal opinion, the price being at $639 with my discount code, plus this board being in stock at their USA warehouse, for a two to six delivery to your door, I think is a great bang for buck. Thank you for watching guys. Please comment, like, share, subscribe. Have a good one guys.